What's going down everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camping with Coleman. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and we're back on the workbench, which I am still trying to get used to. I, I, I gotta admit, I'm just not used to it yet. I still haven't been able to uh, uh, get a new mat ordered up for it, and I've still got some decorating to do. Need to get some more tools and just organize a little better, but all in all, it's not that bad. I really like having it. There's a lot more space for me to work, so I'm excited. So, uh, Axial Fest is right around the corner, and I have yet to do my builds. And I mean, we've got like literally two weeks left, so I am a little bit in freak out mode right now. I might have to cancel some episodes or something. I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta, I gotta figure it out though. I got a lot of work to do. So, um, but a good thing is, parts started showing up, and uh, first one to show up today is. Uh, box from TGN Distributing. TGN Distributing has been one of my longtime sponsors. They've been taking care of me for years and years now. And uh, they're just great people. They're based out of Southern California. And well, mid-Southern, I, I, I consider it Southern California. I don't know, Exeter, Exeter, California. And um, anyways, it's just, they're great people. They've got a lot of amazing products. And I do offer a discount code through them. So if you wanna, you know, order something up, save some money, then uh, use the discount code ESP, or just, you know, it'll be in the comments down below or in the description down below. So anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just crack into this. I'm a little rusty on these unboxing videos. I'm a little rusty on all my videos. So the best way to get back into it is to just get back into it. So let's do it. Got the old uh, X-Acto knife out. I don't wanna go too deep on this because I don't remember entirely what's in here. I just remember there's a lot of good stuff. Alright. I'm excited. I actually have room to unbox things now. Before I, I was always trying to fit everything on the bench and I couldn't do it. Look at this. I can fit this whole box on here. Alright, so how should we do this? Should I just crack this open like this? You guys are going to see everything if I do that. Oh man, this changes things a little bit. The dynamic has changed. Let's just get into it. Alright, so Turn that aside, and as you can see, ooh, this is <laughs> oh my lord, I don't even know where to begin. We've got a ton of amazing stuff here. We're just going to start going through this one, one thing at a time here. Um, we have super lift suspension systems, 110 scale, high performance scale shock set. This is a 100 millimeter shock set from RC four wheel drive. Super excited about these. You guys will be able to see that on camera. And uh, let's, let's just keep it going here. I don't I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. This is my first unboxing with this setup and I really don't know what to do. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Anyways, um, we got here? Old Man Emu shocks. These are the 90 millimeter shock set. I'm not gonna tell you guys what any of this is for. I'm just gonna unbox it all so you can see it, okay, and then you guys will see it all individually probably in different episodes because I have a lot of building to do. So we're going to be doing some build videos. Um, yeah, these are awesome. 90 mil. And it says features all new designs. So I'm curious what has changed or if that's just, you know, it's been around like that for a while. ARB 110 scale uh, fridge freezer, which I don't know if you guys can see that on this camera better or if you can see it on this camera better. But... I'm excited. I'm excited. Here. Here. You can always, can always, can always do, do that, that, I guess. Here, Here we, we go. go. Yeah. yeah. Alright. All right. That, that works. works. We can do it that way. And then here's this for you guys to see. Old man emo shots. This is an LED, LED basic lighting, lighting system, system for the cruiser body set. set. Don't, Don't get excited. excited. I did not get a Land Cruiser. I'm not building a Land Cruiser. Alright, set that aside. We have, this is, this is big boy stuff right here. I'm excited about this. 
RC4 drives ARB 110 scale roof rack. And this, and this is, is like, like heavy duty metal. metal. It's, it's thick. thick. Hey, I'm, I'm excited, excited about, about this. this. About this. It's, it's big. big. You guys know me. I'm a big guy. I got big hands. This thing is big. Awesome. Stoked on that. Um, um, what's next? next? There's a bunch, a bunch of little stuff, stuff here. Oh, oh sick. sick. We have, uh, metal, metal emblem set for Axial SCX-10XJ. Silver set. As you can see, these are awesome. There's your part number. Oh. We have... A replacement motor gearbox for 110 scale worn 9.5 CTI winch. There is part number. You can see it's just these are all the winches. I mean, they're from what I've seen, they're pretty much all the same. Um, then we have a scale rear hub set. Uh, this is the V2 set from RC4 Drive. And uh, man, this is a lot of stuff. Uh, we have RC4 drive super lift, drive shaft alignment, degree shims. I wonder if you guys can figure out what I'm working on here from this. I mean, I've kind of given it away already, so. If you've been watching all the videos, I'm sure you picked up on it by now. And we have. RC4 will drive super lift adjustable steering stabilizer, 90 millimeter through 120 millimeter. And I gotta give a shout out to RC4 drive. They've been really cool to me. Um, you know, they, they've sent me stuff in the past to review. I'm really stoked on that. And uh, they, you know, they just have a lot of great products when it comes to upgrading my axial trucks. So. I like, I like that. that. It's, it's cool. cool. And, 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 you know, they've been around for a long time. So, well, everyone, everyone knows I'm an axial guy, but because of that, a lot of people assume that I'm anti RC four wheel drive. And that's not the case. Uh, if it wasn't for RC four wheel drive, you know, a lot of my axial trucks wouldn't be done up the way they are. So, I definitely, you know, I give love to everybody, man. I'm not a hater. Here is the next set we have a drive shaft. This is. I'm, I'm just kind of going through stuff, stuff over here now. Did I even just show you guys, guys up? up? Okay, okay, yeah, I did. All right. Uh, uh, this, this is rebuildable super Punisher shaft, 109 millimeter through 134 millimeter. Um, basically, a 4.29 inch to 5.27 inch drive shaft for SCX10 uh, front 5 millimeter bolt. And there we go. Let's see in there. Seems sweet. sweet. And like, and like I said, said you'll see more of this stuff here very, very soon. soon. Next, we have a 1.9 and 2.26 lug steel wheel hex hub with brake rotor. And this is from uh, RC4 Drive as well. All of this stuff was ordered from TGN Distributing, you guys. Everything's from TGN Distributing. These are sweet. And I really like these. This is what I'm always telling you guys. You know, if you want to. Just, just add, add that extra scale, scale touch down underneath the chassis. chassis. You know, add some, some brake disc is a great way to do it. Um, um, then, then we, we have, have this bad boy. This, this is RC4 drive oversized, oversized load flag with ropes, ropes. Which, which I already have, have one of these, but, but I need I needed need another one. one. And so, so this is this is pretty slick. Stoked on this. Oh, these are cool. Definitely cool scale accessory if you've got a trailer. Uh, next, next up, we have, have an LED, LED basic, basic lighting, lighting system for Milspec 6x6 six 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 body set. set. Also, also from RC4 Drive. Drive. Here's, Here's we have... This, this is sick. We have, we have a 110 scale, scale high lift jack uh, from RC4 Drive. Drive. This is the working high lift jack. jack. This, this is, is awesome. awesome. Super, Super stoked, stoked on this. You can, you can never, never have, have enough high lift jacks if you're like, like me. I've, I've got, got a good collection of trucks. Of trucks. These, These things just add, add that extra realism to the exterior. exterior. As you can see, I got, I got two, two of them. them. I got, I got uh, one, one in red. red. 
which, which is, is the traditional, traditional one. one. And then I also got this bad boy, which I think is the extreme version. Uh, you can see clearly there's a size difference there. The extreme version is a little bit larger. And yeah, super stoked on this. It's hard to see in this lighting, but all right. Next, Next up, we've, we've got, got another uh, ARB 110, 110 scale, scale, scale fridge, fridge freezer from, from Arsenal Pro Drive. These, These things, things are just awesome. awesome. Great, Great scale, scale accessory, accessory to have. Comes, Comes with a bunch of stickers. stickers. Then, then we've got, got this is uh, from Proline Racing. Well, it's it's still you know from TG and Distributing, but this is a Proline Racing. Scale accessory assortment uh, pack number six, and this comes with the dry cell batteries, the battery mounting hardware, and the power inverter, which you guys are all pretty familiar with probably by now. These have been out for quite a while, but Proline makes some cool stuff, so. All right, let's hurry and get through these. Next up, we've got two of these officially licensed uh, Poison Spider what are these? Poison Spider Bombshell Diff Covers for Axial AR44 Axles for the SEX-102. These are pretty slick. Awesome. Got two of them. Set those aside. Alright, so Next thing we got up is obviously the set of tires here. Let's just get this out of the way. We have uh, a complete set of Interco TSL SX Super Swampers. These are 1.9s. These are not the XLs. So you can see there. Not the XLs. Uh, I have the XLs on the yellow Jeep and I love them, but uh, this particular build I did not want the XLs. Um, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll upgrade to the XLs down the road. Normally I go for a smaller tire. I like smaller tires, but that does not mean that there's not a time and a place for something with a nice fat tire on it. So set those aside. Woo! Yeah, we'll just get these out of the way too. Next up we have <laughs> Pro 10 1.9 steel stamp beadlock wheels from RC four wheel drive. This might give it away. If you watched last night's episode, you can tell obviously I am a... <laughs> yeah, I'm up to some here. <laughs> I have not one, but two sets of those necessary if you want to get that spare. So, awesome. Stoked on that. Then, what do we got left in here? We have an RC four-wheel drive universal winch mounting plate kit. So, this you're really not going to see nothing here, but... There is a stack of winch mounting plates, universal plates. Um, so that way I can mount a winch to almost whatever I need to. And then we have a, uh, a super scale steel leaf spring kit for, or not kit, I sh should say a set of uh, super scale steel leaf springs for a TF2 and Tamiya Bruiser. You can see there. These are the ones that have like the clamps on them and everything. It's hard to see in here. We'll go over them. We'll go over them in another video. But yes, very, very excited to have those. Um, they're not gonna separate like the other ones. Like, you know, when you torque the other ones, you can get some axle hop and stuff. The leaf springs will actually separate like this. Um, these ones are strapped together, so they can't really do that, which is awesome. And we have RC four wheel drive Safari snorkel for an Axial SEX 10 XJ. All right, a little snorkel. It may or may not be for an XJ. It says it's for an XJ, but it may or may not be going on one. Then we have an RC four wheel drive rebuildable Super Punisher shaft. This is a hundred millimeter to hundred eighteen millimeter, or a three point nine four inches to four point six five inches, five millimeter hole. How? These, uh, these are pretty good drive shafts. I don't think they're as good as MIPs personally, um, but uh, 
yeah, I just don't. I, I, my MIPs have outlasted everything I've ever had. But we'll see. These are rebuildable, so that's why I got them. If they don't last as long, it's okay. I love how realistic they are. The MIPs are not that realistic looking. So um, Then we have not one, but two RC four-wheel drive 110 scale worn scale manual locking hubs. And you guys should be pretty familiar with those by now. Same ones I have on my Kaiser. Got two sets of those. We've got a scale front locking hub installation tool to go with it. If I can get it up there, there we go. It's just a just a cool little tool. I'll get the job done. Can't really see anything. But it's there. And we have RC four wheel drive uh, worn winch pull tags, which I've been wanting these for a while now. I think these are awesome. I'm a big fan of worn winches. Worn is actually based out of Oregon here, so shout out to Warren. Definitely could use that Warren sponsorship on the new project. <laughs> and last but not least, speaking of Warren, we have a RC four wheel drive 110 scale. Worn 8274 winch. This thing is a beast, and I've been wanting one for a long time now. Here we go, get a good look at that. I am excited to get that thing mounted up. Awesome. Sweet, all right. And that does it, man. That is all I've got to share with you guys right now. I've got, oh, get that out of the way. I have a whole bunch more to unbox and there's more boxes that are going to be showing up anytime so there's going to be a lot of unboxing, there's going to be a lot of uh, sleepless nights for me, you guys, the schedule is going to be a little out of whack but I'm just going to drop videos whenever I can so bear with me, I hope you guys are enjoying this content, I really really appreciate all the support, you know what it is man, peace chicken grease, I'm going to see you guys on the trails, yeah!